Welcome to Investor Web, your guide to smart investing and financial freedom. Here we're all about empowering you with the knowledge and strategies you need to take control of your financial destiny. We believe that everyone deserves to live a life free from the shackles of financial stress and it's our mission to bring you the insights to make that possible. Today, we're diving into a topic that's close to many of our hearts. 10 steps to never be poor again. This isn't about quick fixes or get rich quick schemes. This is about real actionable strategies that can transform the way you handle money, paving the way to sustainable wealth and a more secure future. So whether you're just starting your financial journey or looking to level up, get ready to rewrite your financial story. It's time to leave behind old habits and step into a world of financial confidence and independence. Prepare to transform your financial future. Step one is to understand your financial situation. Now, you might think this seems obvious, but let me tell you, it's not as simple as it sounds. The first step towards never being poor again is to know exactly where you stand financially. It's about understanding your income, expenses and savings and how they all tie together. Think of your finances like a puzzle. Each piece, whether it's your monthly salary, your rent or mortgage, your grocery bill or your retirement savings, plays a vital role in completing the picture. If you don't know what pieces you have or where they fit, you'll never be able to see the full picture. So, start tracking your income and expenses. Understand where your money comes from and where it goes. Save diligently and spend wisely. Your finances are not just numbers on a screen or a page. They are a reflection of your choices and priorities. Knowledge is power, especially when it comes to your finances. Step two is to create a budget. Now you might think budgets are for accountants and penny pinchers, but let's get one thing straight. A budget is not a constraint. It's a liberation tool. It frees you from financial uncertainty and mindless spending. It's like a compass guiding you towards your financial north star. Consider this, you wouldn't embark on a road trip without a map, would you? Similarly, a budget is your financial roadmap. It helps you track your income, your expenses, and most importantly, your savings. It reveals the leaks in your financial ship and allows you to fix them before you sink. Creating a budget is like taking a financial selfie. It shows you where you stand today and where you could be tomorrow. A budget is not about restriction, it's about empowerment. It's about taking control of your money instead of letting it control you. So remember, a budget is your financial roadmap. Step three is to eliminate debt. If the thought of that feels overwhelming, bear with me. Debt, you see, is like an anchor dragging down your financial health. It's the shadow on your sunny day, the unwanted guest at your prosperity party. But fear not, there are strategies to help you tackle this beast. First off, acknowledge your debt. Ignorance is not bliss in this case. Know what you owe, to whom, and at what interest rate. Next, prioritize. Aim to clear off high interest debts first as they grow faster. Consider taking on a side job or selling unused items to speed up the process. Remember, this is not a one-time effort, but a lifestyle change. It's about making conscious decisions every day, every hour. It's about saying no to instant gratification and yes to long-term peace of mind. Debt freedom is a cornerstone of financial security, so let's roll up our sleeves and start chiseling away at that mountain of debt. Step four is to create multiple income streams. This is a pivotal move in securing your financial future. Diversifying your income sources isn't just a savvy strategy, it's essential for financial stability. You see, relying on a single source of income can be risky as it leaves you vulnerable to the unexpected. But when you create multiple income streams, you're essentially building a financial safety net. If one income stream dries up, you'll have others to fall back on. There are numerous avenues for generating additional income you could invest in stocks or bonds, start a side business, monetize a hobby, or even rent out a portion of your home. Remember, the aim isn't just to make more money, but to create a balanced and resilient financial ecosystem. So consider your passions, your skills, and the resources you have at your disposal, and start exploring those additional income pathways. Don't put all your eggs in one basket, diversify. Step five is to save and invest. It's a simple concept, but one that often gets overlooked. Think of your income like a flowing river. 
Now instead of letting all that water rush by, we're going to build a dam. This dam represents your savings. It's a portion of your income that you set aside and don't touch, allowing it to build up over time. But we're not stopping there. We're going to take this saved money and make it work for us. That's where investing comes in. You're putting your money into ventures, stocks, bonds, real estate, places where your money can grow. It's like planting a seed and nurturing it into a tree. Remember, this is a long-term game. Don't expect to become rich overnight. It's about consistent saving and wise investing. The power of compound interest is on your side, so start today. Build your dam, plant your seeds. Saving and investing are keys to building wealth. Step six is to build an emergency fund. The great unknown can be a daunting place, especially when it comes to finances. That's where an emergency fund steps in, providing a safety net to catch you when life throws a curveball. Think of it as a financial buffer, a stash of money set aside to cover the financial surprises life throws your way. From sudden job loss, unexpected medical bills to urgent car repairs, these are all instances when having an emergency fund can be a lifesaver. It's not about if these events will happen, but when. That's why it's crucial to be prepared. How much should be in your emergency fund? A good rule of thumb is to have three to six months worth of living expenses. This provides a comfortable cushion, allowing you to weather financial storms without dipping into your long-term investments or taking on debt. An emergency fund is your financial safety net. It's about preparing for the unexpected, securing your financial future and sleeping more soundly at night. Step seven is to invest in education. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean going back to university or acquiring another degree, although that can be a great choice. It's not the only way to invest in education. You can learn a new skill, take up an online course, or even read a book. It's all about broadening your knowledge and skill set to open up more opportunities for higher income and financial growth. Let's consider this. With the rise of the digital age, numerous platforms offer a plethora of courses that can help you learn anything from coding to graphic design and even financial management. Management. These skills can lead to better job opportunities or even allow you to start a side business. Remember, knowledge is power. The more you know, the more you grow, financially and personally. So don't hesitate to invest in your learning and development. After all, you're your most significant investment. Invest in your most valuable asset, yourself. Step eight is to plan for retirement. A life of financial independence is not merely about surviving today, but also about securing tomorrow. Retirement planning is crucial to this. It's not just about putting away a portion of your income into a retirement fund. It's about investing wisely and consistently for a future where your income may stop, but your expenses won't. Consider this. The earlier you start, the more time your money has to grow through the magic of compound interest. Let's say you start at 25 instead of 35. That's an extra decade for your investments to multiply. And remember, it's not just about quantity, but quality. Diversify your retirement portfolio across various asset classes to spread the risk and increase potential returns. Retirement planning is not a distant concern, it's an immediate priority, because the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. And the second best time, now. It's never too early to plan for retirement. Step nine is to practice frugality. This, my friends, is not about pinching pennies or depriving yourself of the joys of life. On the contrary, it's about living below your means to ensure financial stability and growth. It's about making conscious, thoughtful decisions about where and how you spend your hard-earned money. Think of it as taking the reins of your financial horse, guiding it in the direction that best suits your long-term goals. Now, frugality doesn't mean you can't indulge occasionally or treat yourself. It's more about distinguishing between wants and needs and prioritizing the latter. It's about opting for quality over quantity and understanding that sometimes less is indeed more. It's about saving where you can so you can invest where you should. Remember, frugality isn't a punishment, it's a strategy, a tool in your financial toolbox. It's a way to stretch your dollar further, to make your money work harder for you. Frugality is not about living less, it's about living smart. The final step is to stay financially informed. Let's unpack that. In a world where economies fluctuate and markets sway, it's critical to keep your finger on the pulse of financial trends. It's not just about reading the Wall Street Journal or following the Financial Times, but about understanding the dynamics that drive economies worldwide. 
Keeping abreast of financial news can help you make informed decisions about where to put your hard-earned money, whether it's investing in emerging markets, buying shares in the latest technology company, or saving for a rainy day, knowledge is your most valuable asset. Remember, financial literacy isn't a one-time lesson, but a lifelong commitment. It requires constant learning, adapting, and growing. It's about understanding the language of money and using it to your advantage. And so, we come to the end of our journey, but remember, the journey to financial independence is never truly over. Knowledge is power. Stay informed, stay empowered. Those are the 10 steps to never be poor again. We've journeyed together from understanding your financial situation to creating a budget. We've tackled the need for eliminating debt and the importance of creating multiple income streams. We've discussed the necessity of saving and investing as well as building an emergency fund for those unforeseen life moments. We've underscored the value of investing in education and planning for retirement. And we've highlighted the significance of practicing frugality and staying financially informed. These are not just steps, but a roadmap to financial success. They are the keys to unlock your financial freedom. It's important to remember that these are not one-time actions, but habits to cultivate and maintain throughout your life. So start today, implement these steps and take control of your financial future. Remember your financial future is in your hands. Subscribe to InvestorWeb for more insights and strategies. Here's to your financial freedom.